Have you guys ever wondered what would happen if you put vodka in your gas tank? Well, today I'm gonna be testing it out. So what we have is we got some basically cheap vodka right here. You can see here. Oh yeah, can't buy the expensive stuff. That's, I can't afford that stuff. This is right here, 21% alcohol, 42 proof. Now it's not open or anything, as you can see here, it's got a thing on it. So it's not open, it's not, it's cheap alcohol. That's all it is, cheap vodka. There's nothing, there's no gas, there's nothing in it. I've got two of them here. They're about, both of these equal almost a gallon with both of them together. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like put half of one in it for now and just drive it around a little bit and see if it makes a difference. And then we'll just keep adding just to see if it does anything. I don't think it's gonna burn that well because it's only 42 proof. I mean, that ain't very high of proof or alcohol, but heck, who knows? You never know, you might end up in freaking a back road somewhere, clear out of freaking gas. And you gotta have gas and the only thing that you got is a freaking bottle of vodka to put in it. Either you put the bottle of vodka in it or you walk. So this is why I'm doing this right here because there might be someone out there that might be able to use this information. I don't know, but we're gonna give it a whirl and we're gonna see what happens here. Heck, it honestly might give it more horsepower, honestly. I mean, when I put these bad boys in there, it might almost be like the octane boosters. I might gain like 500 freaking horsepower from this crap in this Jeep. So we're gonna see what happens here. They might have so much power that I might get launched to the moon today. So. Just so everyone knows, there's no gas in this thing. I mean, there's, there's, there might be a little bit, but this thing is clear on E, very deep. All right, I'm gonna crack it open here where you guys can see it. As you can see here, like I said, it's got the thing on it. Right there. So it wasn't open before. Oh, it's got one of them freaking stupid party fouls on it. Freaking junk. All right, we're gonna pour half of it in here and we're gonna fire it up and do some laps with it and then we're gonna see if it affects it at all. If not, we're gonna pour the rest of it and then I got a whole other bottle. So we're just gonna keep filling it up until it either does something or it does nothing. So we're gonna see what happens here. It's gonna take freaking forever because it's freaking party foul thing. It's, it's about uh, less than half. That's the size of the bottles just in case anyone was wondering. All right, we're gonna give it a few cycles on the key to get it real cycled into the engine. Give it a few cycles here. All right, let's see if it fires up. It should. I showed you guys, it's got barely, I mean, it's clear buried in E. It has a little bit of gas, but not a lot at all. So, let's see if it starts here. Started up fun. Didn't notice anything. I mean, it sounds fun. We'll give it a few laps here, get it really saturated, mixed in the tank with whatever's left in there. And see what happens. It seems to be running fine as of now. It doesn't seem to be sputtering or doing anything weird, backfiring or anything. It seems perfectly fine now. Put a few more full throttle launches. Still nothing. Still seems the same. Running normally fine. It should be getting in there by now. Man, this thing's got like no gas. This steering in this thing is freaking sketchy. The steering and the brakes. I mean, this thing, ever since I've done that stuff to it, it ain't been the same, but it still, it still runs. I don't know what that was, but we just lost something. Never mind, we're fine, perfectly fine. I don't know what the heck that was, but that was not good at all. I don't think it was a vodka that caused it. I don't know if I missed the gear or what it was, but I thought, felt like a freaking transfer case flew out of this thing again. We're gonna go and dump some more vodka in it and see if it does anything. As you can see here, it's the same bottle, same stuff. Put the rest of it in here. Now I got a really good question. Would this technically be, could the Jeep get a DUI for uh, doing this? Because it's technically right now, it's driving and drinking. I'm not, but could the Jeep get a DUI? Because it's really, this thing is drinking vodka and driving on the road. So, I don't know. 
It might be possible. We dumped the rest of it in there. We got one full bottle in there now. I just had, I just did the run with it. It didn't really seem like it affected it at all. So we're gonna see if a half a gallon does anything. We got the half a gallon of vodka in there now. Put the rest of that bottle in there. We're gonna give it a few key cycles. Get the pump to cycle it up and suck it up. Still starts fun. No issues at all. Seems to be idling fine like normal. RPMs are staying good in range. It seems like it might be starting a little bit when I hit the gas. Still idling fun. This thing's not warmed up at all either. So it's, I mean, the only warmed up it got there was from me going up there and back. That's the much as it's got. So, I mean, it could be that or it could be the vodka messing with it. So here we go. It felt like it was stuttering there on the takeoff a little bit. Nothing too major, just a little bit. But I mean, it's right now it's still fine. It's still running. Still haven't noticed really anything yet. Still seems to be perfectly fine. Oh, it might be getting to it a little bit there. It's sputtering a little bit. But like I said, it ain't nothing too bad. Do a few more laps here and see if anything happens. If not, then we're gonna put some more in it. I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but right, it kind of sounds like it's sputtering at bottom end is when it sounds like it the most, but I mean, when you get it revved up, it seems to be fun. Oh, I think it's starting to, it's starting to do something. like it did something weird there for a second it was like sputtering and bogging down a little bit but then when you get up the hill it's going fine it's idling i mean it's not having no issues or nothing not breaking up when it's rubbing up so we're gonna we're gonna put some more in it and see what happens here we got the second ball right here crack it open just so you know it ain't messed with or tampered or anything like that I don't do fake stuff here. I'm not Mr. Beast, so only real stuff happens here. This would be almost a gallon here with half, with the full other bottle and half of this going in there. Get all this down in there. Got about that much left. We're gonna shake this thing up a little bit. Just, I mean, me running around is doing it, but we'll shake it up now because we got a good bit in there. Oh yeah. All right, that she should be mixed up now. All right, here we go. We got about. Almost a whole gallon of this thing. We still got half of that other bottle left. Do a few cycles here. All right, here we go. See if it does anything different. Still fires up, idle and normal. A few revs. It seemed like it started there at the beginning when I first floored it, but I mean, it's back to, it's still idle and fine and everything, so. Give it a few laps here. See if anything happens. Oh. Oh, she's really stuttering now. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. She's really starting to stutter. Holy crap. It's really, it's running very poor now. Very poor. But it's still going. It ain't liking it at all. Holy crap. I think we just gained a thousand horsepower from that. This thing's just going so fast right now. Oh, that's that's full throttle right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it ain't liking it. Let's see if we can get it. It's still revving up. All right, let's see if it... It ain't wanting to go. Oh, it's going a little bit. We're still, we're still going. <laughs> this thing is running very poor. If it had a gauge on it right now, it'd be saying every cylinder on this thing is misfiring severely. Smell 
too good either. It ain't like it. It's so. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, it almost tried down in there. It is not liking this at all. When it gets past 3,000 RPMs, it's going, but anything past it. Oh, it's running good now. It does smell funky. It don't smell like it normally does. It smells really funky. So see if we can drive again. It's sputtering really bad, but it's driving. This is weird. It was literally just running like crap. Now it's running fine. What the heck? It also does sound a lot more different too. Like the engine sound of this thing, it sounds, it don't sound like it did before. That's misfiring again. Oh, there it goes back to running like crap. It's not smoking or nothing. All right, we might as well put the rest of this in there and see, just to see if it's either gonna kill it or it's gonna keep running. Oh, it sounds like it's about to die. Oh crap. Come on, baby. if it's going to start back up so i'm going to leave it running we're going to pour the rest of it in there that'd be making almost a whole gallon of vodka and we'll see i don't know it ain't it's starting to not run that good so it might be the cheap vodka or it might just be because it's vodka and not gas it's not supposed to be in a vehicle so see what happens here all right here we go half of the other one half of the other vodka bottle going all in there This is almost a gallon with these two big bottles I just put in it. So, still idling. Don't seem to be having any issues at the moment. Still sounds the same. Oh, it might be dying. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just died. Crap. This might not be good. See if we can get to start again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this ain't good. Uh-oh, I think... Uh, it's dead now. Well, crap. Well, there you have it, guys. I mean, as you've seen, it just died on us. We put the whole, the rest of that full bottle in there. So that was two big bottles of that stuff, almost a whole gallon. Didn't have that much gas in it. I mean... I showed you guys there at the beginning, it had barely anything. I mean, it was doing good there at the beginning. We were getting, we put half of that bottle in it there at the beginning, ran around, no issues, put the other half of it in it. So full one bottle of 1.75 milliliters is what was in it. Ran fine, no issues. Came back here. We had the whole bottle of that first in there. Then I put half of that second bottle in it. And that's when it started to really spit and sputter and like blah, 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 and like barely want to run and sometimes it would run really good and then it won it for some reason when it went downhill it seemed to run better i don't know why downhill than uphill up there it like ran fine and then when i got up there and it, the rpms went lows when it ran started to run real poorly we brought it back here we put that last ball in when I was, I was videoing it and you guys seen it that's when it started to it kept trying to die there and it didn't really want to run that good i kept it alive there for a little bit i took the camera down there by the exhaust to so you guys could hear it, and that's when it it really started to lose power. Came in here, it's too late. It won't start, the battery's dead now. So I guess if you guys ever wondered, can your vehicle run off vodka? I mean, that was really cheap stuff. That stuff was only like $10 for a big bottle. I wasn't about to spend freaking $30 for a freaking bottle of crap. Do the cheap stuff here. We don't do nothing fake. We do cheap stuff and see if it works or not. Because some people, they might just manage to be on a back road, like I said at the beginning of the video, and just run out of freaking fuel and maybe, heck, they might have watched this video and it could have went good, but it didn't. 
If it would have went good, then they probably would have dumped the whole bottle in there. But I mean, honestly, if it was me and I got stuck somewhere with no gas, I'd do it anyways because I'd rather be driving it out of there than walking home like I'm about to have to do here because I'm clear out in the middle of the field and this thing won't start now. So now I got to walk my butt clear back over there. Hopefully this kind of educated you guys. I mean, something different today. It wasn't nothing too crazy. If you guys were wondering where the cameraman was, I had to give him a break. He just freaking constantly, dude, breaking my stuff as you guys seen in the videos, thinking stuff was funny, hooking vehicles up, splitting them in half when I was trying to go get groceries and everything. So I told him to just stay home this week and I'll do it myself because it's a lot cheaper when you don't got someone here breaking stuff on purpose. So hopefully this educated you guys today and yeah. I could go and get more proof. Like I said, this is only 42 proof, 21% alcohol, as you can see here. Cheap vodka, nothing fancy. I looked up online and it said something about, I think it said like 50 proof or something more will burn, but not that well. This is only 42, so I mean, we might do another video where I actually go and get some really good vodka that's not cheap like this and low proof, I don't know. If you guys want to see that then drop a like and hope you guys have a good night and i'm about to walk my butt all the way back home because this jeep just let me down